everyone. This is Sam Rob from samrob2020.com and I'm here to talk to you about a subject that comes up a lot in libertarian circles and that's drug legalization. Now this past weekend I was at the uh, Libertarian Party of New Hampshire's convention no less than three times. I had people talk to me about this subject but not in terms of recreational marijuana use which is what everybody thinks, right? Oh it's the the libertarians they just want they just want to talk about legalizing weed. These people all had stories for me about a loved one, a friend, a family member, who was unable to receive a treatment, unable to take a medication, because it was prohibited by the government. In one case, we were talking about uh, a loved one with brain cancer. Another case, uh, someone dealing with diabetes. These are situations where the government has made a decision about how you can work with your doctor to heal yourself or to mitigate the effects of a disease. Not all medicines are safe. I myself, when I turned a certain age, I'm a man of a certain age, my doctor said, hey, you need to go on statins. You're that age, that's good for your heart, in the majority of cases, and that's what they did. They put me on statins for a month, monitored me, did some checkups, and then said, whoa, let's stop this because it's having an adverse effect on you. I was one of the very few people that reacted poorly to it. That's no reason to pull statins from the market. That's no reason to say, no, 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 no. Nobody is allowed to take this medicine anymore because one person had a bad, bad reaction to it, or even 100 people, because everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different. Someone taking a medicine uh, that might cause increased risk of heart disease, may find that perfectly acceptable because the alternative is, hey, I'm going to die of leukemia. Sure, I may have an increased risk of heart disease, but you know what? I'm willing to take that because it means the difference between an increased quality of life, it means the difference between possibly living and dying. I'll take that risk. And that is something that they should be able to assume. That is something that they and their doctor should be able to figure out. That's not something that the government should be able to shut down and regulate away. So keep in mind, when the Libertarian Party, when Libertarian candidates talk about drug legalization, this goes a lot further, it goes a lot deeper than, oh, there are a bunch of guys who want to smoke weed. We're talking about giving people a choice on how to treat themselves in life or death situations. We're talking about giving people the freedom to take the risks on that they need to in order to have an enhanced quality of life in order to save their own lives. Think about it. This is Sam Robb. SamRob2020.com